Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the look that I just finished. I used the Juvia's Place Warriors 2 palette and I had so much fun creating this look. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos because it's going to be fun. Hi everybody, I hope you guys are doing well out there during this, you know, quarantine time and everything is kind of crazy this past few months but i thought i'd try to lift some people's spirits up and try to help them you know bypass time and look pretty so i thought why not do a makeup look i'm gonna be using the juvia's place palette i'm gonna do a nude look and i also have a lot of huda beauty's products that i'm gonna be using I've had these products for a while, but I have not really used them and wore them for like an extended time to actually see how they hold up and how they last during the day, if I have to retouch it, you know, things like that. So I'm going to get started. First thing you're going to do is grab a blending brush. I'm actually going to go into my morphe jaclyn hill vault palette and i'm going to use a brown called alert this one right here and i'm going to use this for my base and transition color now i don't want to you know use too much you just kind of tap the excess off And then when you're doing it, you just go dab. You dab right along. And I'm, when I get here, you want to kind of drag it out a little bit. Not too, too out because you don't want it all the way up here. Now, when I get up here, I like to go in circular motions because it's so it's not like a straight line, like it's just blended. But you also don't want to go too high up into your eyebrow because you know that doesn't it doesn't look nice. This color is to die for. This color is to die for. I know Jaclyn Hill has a lot of uh, problems in the makeup world, but her, I think her makeup palettes are pretty awesome. I also have the the um, Vault 2 palette. I also made a um, tutorial on that. I'll pin it up above. And I, I love it. Like, I didn't have any problems with it. I actually like Jack Jaclyn Hill. I think her products are are pretty dope. Like they're amazing. They're good quality. The only thing I really haven't tried is like her brand of products. I haven't really tried those, but you know, I will eventually. You know. Now for my second color, I'm going to go into a more lighter brown to kind of soften it up. Now I'm gonna go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. You don't really need too much. You just need like enough for both eyes. Now we're gonna take some and I'm not going to do a cut crease, we're just kind of going to soften it up and make a beautiful look. Okay, so I'm going to dab it. And not go too 
too far into the corner of my eyes. It's going to look like a cut crease, but when I smooth it out, you, you'll see. You'll see the difference. And I have really hooded eyes, so I really have to go above the crease in my eyes so you guys can actually see it. That's the only thing I hate about having hooded eyes. Is that it's really difficult at times. So we're going to keep dabbing. go in with a different brush and blend the corners out the second eye right above the line in my eye okay now I like to stop here and actually finish my face then come back to my eyes so that way I can do the color under my eyes and you know just just finish it up I just like to stop right here and then come back to it so now we're gonna try the Huda Huda Beauty faux filter it, it does have a, a fragrance to it it kind of smells like like floral florally Mm, I, I, ooh, it, it's really strong it's really strong it's really strong I don't know if this one has the same scent the illuminator I'm gonna try this as a this does has a scent but not as strong as that the faux filter and at Sephora this runs for $40 and this runs for think maybe this one's for 40 45 I'm not sure but I'll pin it you want to make sure it's shaking up really well so all of the pearls that's on the bottom can go up I'm gonna try to two pumps and this is the color Aphrodite in the not your mama's pantyhose in um Huda Beauty's line. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh gosh. I'm only gonna put this in my my um areas that I I tend to get really shiny in. Two 
too much. Wow, this coverage is insane. Wow, do you guys see this? Oh my God, oh, I hope I didn't use too much foundation. This is why I like to pause on putting makeup on my lower lash line because with the foundation, I feel like it'll just wipe it off. Like it'll just cover it up and I'll have to backtrack and do it all over again. So I, I really do like to just pause on that part and then come back to it after I'm done with my, my um, face. to go down on my cheek and I like to bring it on my my cheekbone that way it just you know bring your whole face out back with my small brush and blend the corners of my nose and bring it up to your eyebrow bring it up to your eyebrow see
of right where I put the um, contour. Contour for me. Anytime you need to paint, you need to put down a powder on top of it. Ah. I'm gonna go into this color in the bronze palette. This one is called Bora Bora. And I'm also gonna mix it with this one. What is this called? Aruba. Bora Bora and Aruba, I'm gonna mix the two. First, I'm gonna start with Bora Bora. Let me grab my mirror. And I'm gonna tap it right above where I just put that powder. I'm gonna tap it right above I just, where I just put the powder. I'm gonna go down on my nose, my lip. Okay, now I'm gonna use Aruba and do the same thing. I'm going to use my lollipop liner from Beauty Bakery. I'm gonna start at the corner and, and go right up. Um, makeup on the bottom eye. I'm actually gonna use a slanted brush and I'm gonna use the color we started off with in the Vault 2 palette, no, in the Vault palette. This one, alert, this one. The, la the lashes I'm gonna use are these. They're from Blue Rose Cosmetics. They're called Sensational. And they are 25, oops, 25 mm milligrams millimeters look how pretty that is yeah. for the lipstick I'm gonna do is from Huda Beauty it is called board meeting in I already put some lip liner on from Colourpop it is their lip liner called BFF3 going to go right in the middle stay tuned for more videos because it's going to be fun